Yo homies, welcome back to the channel, my name is Andy, known on YouTube as The Uncommentator and this is episode number 4 of Kirby's Dream Course. In the last episode number 3, we completed course number 3. So we're going to continue the theme of one course per episode and move on to course number 4. Now unfortunately in the last episode that was the first episode where I didn't get one of the bronze kind of medal medallion things that we've got in course 1 and 2 so far. But it doesn't matter uh, because we're just trying to get through the game the best we can. We're not going to try and get a record score or anything. But hopefully, to be honest with you, I won't, I won't mind another medallion on uh, on course number four. Or some kind of recognition anyway for uh, for getting through. And uh, yep, of course, at the start of each course, we get a little video to show us maybe some techniques to use. And it looks like from that video we've just seen there, we need to try and turn ourselves into some kind of tornado. And if we do that, we can maybe steer our way around... Uh, Round stationary objects. Right then, so let's have a look at hole number one. So at the start here, we've got a spinning thing that will turn us into a tornado. And then we've got a sweeper in a witch's hat. And finally, another sweeper in a witch's hat. So I think the tactic here is going to be, um, obviously we need to collect that, turn ourselves into a tornado, and then hopefully we can uh, steer ourselves around the trees, take out that sweeper, and then into the hole at the end. That's the plan. So let's give it a go. Right, now the sand will slow us down here, but I think what I'm going to do is, if I just put enough power on to go straight forward, we can collect the um, we can collect the tornado, and then hopefully steer ourselves around the tree. So let's get on with it. Only one way to find out if all those things I've just said will happen, and that's to actually take the shot. Right, we hit to collect the tornado, and then we hit the tree. So <laughs> that didn't quite work. Oh well. Um, right, that, that didn't work out as I'd hoped. Anyway. Okay, so we've got the tornado, um, right, so now we need to hit this sweeper. Now what I'm going to try and do here is, I tried to steer myself then, but it didn't, so maybe you can't, I could have sworn you could, uh, you could steer yourselves while you're the tornado, maybe I'm wrong. I thought you could control where you go, but, um, maybe I'm wrong on that one. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, can you extend your, can you extend your, uh, thingy, oh, I don't know, I didn't know you could do that. Anyway, move on, um, right. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try and go up the side here and then kind of slalom, hopefully, I'll go up the side, roll up, roll downwards, hit that, and then slalom around the last tree and into the into the hole. That's the plan here. So let's try and do this one a go. So we need a decent amount of power. We slalom round, we hit that. If we've got enough power to keep going, that'd be great. Let's put the spinner on. And it's just going to take us back where we were. Why has it done that? Why has it done that? Why has it actually just done that? That's actually quite annoying. Um, okay. Uh, I don't know why that just happened. So you know what? We're just going to whack it as hard as we can. Go in! Go in! Please! What a shot! What a complete fluke! But I don't care! I don't know what the hell happened there. I, yeah, I don't know what that tornado thing does. I, I thought it just... I thought you could steer yourself when you, were the, when you were the tornado, but apparently you just whack into a tree and go backwards. So maybe I'm uh, maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. Anyway, somehow three shots, don't quite know how. But we'll move on now to uh, hole number two. Right, so what we got here then? So we've got a sweep in a witch's hat, another sweep in a witch's hat, a spinning orange head, and a couple of dancing sun men. So it looks like this... Looks quite straightforward at the minute. Got a red spot here. I don't quite know what that does. Um, I may have may have some may have something to do with those green. Something to do with those green uh, squares there. I don't know. Uh, okay, that that last shot was unbelievable. I don't know what the hell happened there. Anyway, right. So what we'll do here is we'll try and go up the side, take these two out. This does. Is it me or does this look really easy? I mean, I may be regretting saying that in a second, but it doesn't look too difficult at the minute. I'll right, we'll take you two out. Don't quite know we missed that, but I don't care. Uh, right. Okay. Fairly straightforward at the minute. Hit you, hit you. That becomes the hole. And then... Where's the challenge here? There must be some somewhere. Okay. That was straightforward. Nice and easy, three shots, maybe we could have done it in two if I was a, a more skilled player. Now, I've been saying in previous episodes about the holes and the courses getting more difficult. Well, so far, two holes down here, 25% of the way through. I think this has been a lot easier than um, 
then course number th course number three. I thought the last episode was really tough, but this one so far has been a slice of urine. So not quite sure uh, what I'm there. Anyway, on to hole number three. So what we got here, we've got a uh, spinning orange head. We've got another sweeper in a witch's hat, and we've got this uh, orange block thing here. Now, in an ideal world here, I want to collect the orange block, but I don't think that's going to be possible. Because I think what we're going to have to do here is... So we'll, walk, we'll hit the warp, um, and then we'll obviously take the orange head out. We'll probably end up hitting that, and then we'll need to... Uh, we'll need to then get get the uh, the orange head thing, the orange block thing will become the hole. In an ideal world, I want the sweeper to become the hole, but I don't think that's going to be possible. Uh, right, okay, let's give it a go then. So... We'll go off the wall to go into the warp. We don't need to... Uh... I didn't know you could do that. If you press the down button, you'd make your um, make your dotted line longer. That, that could actually be quite useful. Anyway, um, right, so we should hit the warp, and then we'll go from there. Okay. Let's see what we got. So we'll just put middle power, just over middle power, onto the warp, onto that. That's going to carry us round. Right, now in an ideal world here, I'd want the, uh... right, I'm going to try this, I'm going to try and get the orange block, because I don't really want the, um, the orange block's quite useful, so let's get that if we can, let's go for that, right, we've got it, if we activate it we can stop ourselves dead, there we go, right, okay, so just over a quarter power here, should be enough, I think. There we go. So we got to the tornado. I thought that tornado would be quite useful, but um, I'm sure you can steer, but um, to quote the Prophet Cool J, it's hard for me to control myself when I'm uh, when I'm using the uh, tornado. So let's just get rid of it, because I don't think we're going to need it. Well, I don't know if we're going to need it again, to be honest with you. But we seem to be getting through, uh, seem to be getting by so far without it, so that's good. Right, what have we got here then? Um, so we've got a Dancing Sun Man. We've got another dancing sun man, 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 and to finish off with, another dancing sun man. We've also got three pools of water. We want to yet yeah, three pools of water and two mines that I don't want to hit. Okay. Um right then. Now there's two tap there's two things we can do here. We can either take out all these sun men first, and then that becomes the hole. So then we could maybe then get back to the warp, and then warp into the hole. Or we can hit the warp first, take that out, hit the warp again, and go back up and take all these out. They're the, they're the choices we've got. So I think what we're going to do is, let's go for the warp first, take that out, back onto the warp, and then we'll see how we get on. We've got we've got the um, we've got the block. We can turn into, we can turn ourselves into a block and stop ourselves if it looks like we're going to go off course or hit one of these uh, mines, which we obviously don't want to do. So, yeah, we'll go into the warp first. So not much power needed here. Just enough to uh, make sure that we hit that right. There we go. Now, if we put decent power on here, we can hopefully hit the warp and make it all the way down. That would be the, that would be the dream. That would be the dream on the dream course. Uh, right, let's do that then. So let's go decent power. Not full, but quite a lot. So we hit the warp, hit that, over the hump. Yep, I was worried about that hump if it was going to take us off uh, take us off course, but it didn't. And we need to bounce and hit that. Now, can we go into the hole? That would be asking too much. Yes, it would. I think we're going to roll past it. So we can stop ourselves dead next to it. And in we go. So three shots per hole so far, continuing the... Uh, Continuing the average. Well, 50% of the way through this course, and it's been way easier than course number three. I thought course number three was pretty tough. This one hasn't been too bad, though. Right. Okay, what we got here, then? So, we've got a poisonous kind of demonic ladybird type thing. We've got a dancing sun man and another demonic ladybird. And that would appear to be that. <laughs> so, I think the tactic here is going to be... If we go up the hill, hit the ladybird... Bounce down, hit the blue, hit the uh, the yellow arrow into the sun man. That will then become the hole, and then we can hopefully get into that. Now the uh, poisonous um, demonic ladybird thing, I believe, is very similar to the uh, the block that we've currently got. The only difference is, 
rather than becoming a solid block or a stone, I suppose, you become you, you actually become like a little porcupine and spikes stick out. So it's another uh, power that stops you dead, so it could be quite useful here. Right, we need to make sure we hit this. We'll put decent power on, make sure we hit it. Then we'll hopefully roll down, hit the sun man, and then we'll go from there. Okay. So decent power, hit that. Onto the arrow. We'll stop ourselves so we don't go under the spike. And we just need to roll down the hill. No, not much power. I think, to be fair, we need, we need very little power. We can maybe do this in two shots. I don't know if we'll be uh, going too quick and we'll actually roll past the hole. But if we do, we've got the spot, we've got the porcupine so we can stop ourselves. So we should be fine here. And that's so not much power needed. There we go. Two shots. I didn't, I wasn't sure if you could actually go into the hole while you had the porcupine up. It was a bit like the, uh, like the Mary Poppins shot when you got the umbrella. You can go in the hole. But I thought the porcupine shot was a bit like the stone shot when you like the, the solid block. And you can't go in. I don't think you can go in the hole when you're in the block. Well, I may be wrong. Anyway, on to hole number six. So let's see what we got here. Not a lot by the looks of things. So we've got a... Ooh, this looks fun. So these red squares here, I believe, project you forward at quite a uh, a colossal lick, shall we say. Um, so we need to hit the middle one there. That's for certain. So we can uh, hit the ramp and jump over the bed of spikes. And if we do that, we'll then end up here. It looks like these are only the three enemies on the... Um, these are the only three enemies on the um, the course. These three spinning orange heads. Right, okay. Let's do this then. So, presumably, we need to hit that arrow. I'm assuming it's there for a reason. So, if we put the extended dotted line on, that just looks about the right angle, doesn't it? Or will we go past at that angle? It's going to be tough, but we'll give it a go. Yeah, we'll try that angle, because I think if we move in a, one more, we may, hit the green, we may hit the green thing there, so we don't want to do that. Yeah, that, that looks about right, doesn't it? I think we may just go past that, but we'll see. Right, we'll try and hit that. Hit the arrow, go forward, over the, over the jump, and then into there. That's the plan. Okay, let's do this then. Let's see, let's see how we get on. Okay, we missed that completely. Um, right. That didn't quite work. Um, okay. Now, do we actually go on the arrow? I'm just conscious that if we hit this, is it going to just send us off course? I don't know. So what I'm going to do is, I feel like we need to hit, I feel like we need to hit the arrow. So let's just aim for the arrow and see what happens. Yeah, the arrow shoots us over. There we go. And we'll stop ourselves dead, just in case. Don't want to roll back onto the spikes. Right. Okay, so we've got over in the end. Um, yeah, I think for, I think from memory, with these, if you go onto them at an angle, that's the angle that you that you shoot at. It doesn't it doesn't automatically send you forward like the arrow does. I think it. So if you approach it at an angle, it fires you forward and up into the air, but at the angle. But I may be wrong. So that's why I wanted to make sure I entered the booster pad thing at the front to make sure we got over the spikes. I hope that makes sense. Um, anyway. Right, so shot number three. So we can we can we do this in one shot? I think we maybe can. It's going to take a bit of judging. But let's give it a go. We've got the... Um, we've got the spiky um, porcupine thing if we need it. Right, off the wall. Off the side, off the back. Go on, go in! No, not quite. Just not quite on the angle. Oh well. Four shots then. Close enough. Breezing through this. Now, I've said this, I've said this as well in previous episodes. Um, I haven't done a, um, a recent practice run. I did complete this game when I was a wee boy. Back when uh, I was shorter than my... Uh, my dear old mother, who's uh, five foot tall, believe it or not. But anyway, um, yeah, so I have actually completed this game, but um, so some of this stuff is coming back to me now, actually. So the holes are not coming back to me, but some of the power-ups and the little tactics they have to do, I have to say are. Ah, right, anyway, hole number six, is it? Or seven, I'm not keeping count. Anyway, I don't know. One thing I do know, though, is that we've got a poisonous um, demonic ladybird, we've got a spinning orange head, got the snowman, 
And we've got another orange head. So, what's the tactic going to be here? I kind of want the snowman to become the um, the hole. Because I don't want to click the snowman power up. I don't want to lose the uh, porcupine power up. Um, right. What do we do here? I don't know what we do. Uh, right, I think we do... The first thing we do is... Do we need to collect the collect the collect the spike? Hopefully, as well, collect the uh, the orange head, and then if we stop ourselves in a certain place, we can then hopefully. Um, it's a bit of a tough one, this one actually. Okay, let's just let's just see how we get. Let's just yolo it. Let's just see how we get on. Or do we go down the bottom first? No, because I need to. No, because I, I need to. I need to. I need the snowman to become the. Uh, I need the snowman to become the hole because I don't want to collect it. I don't want to collect the power up. I think from memory you can't. I don't think you can change your power ups. But I may be wrong on that one. Right, anyway, let's get on with it. Uh, right, okay, let's try and do this uh, a good way. So we hit that. Right, let's put the spike on. Right, so now we can... Oh, actually, that's not good. Um, actually, no, it isn't. That's okay. Right, so we'll hit this. We'll hit this. Bounce back. Stop ourselves before we hit the snowman. And we can go up here and hit this. Roll back down. And then the snowman becomes the hole. I, think, I feel like I made a bit of a mess of this hole, but I'm not quite sure what I was supposed to do. Right, stop ourselves dead. If we just go just over three quarter power, sorry, a quarter power should go in. There we go. Yeah, I feel like I made a bit of a hash of that. Could have maybe done that in three, but I'm not. I just really, I just really didn't want to collect the snowman. I was trying to avoid the snowman, so that's why I didn't want to put too many reckless power shots on. So 22 shots down. I feel like this course has been way easier than the last one. I don't keep saying it, but it doesn't make it any less true. Right, will that continue on to the last hole? Let's have a look what we got. So we've got a... Ooh, maybe we did need the snowman. Ah, maybe that's why the snowman was there, because we needed it to get to get over that water. Um, okay, so we've got a block. We've got a uh, an orange block, a spinning orange head, and a dancing sun man. So we need two. So we need to get over, we need to get over here... Need to get over here, past the water. Yeah, see if we'd got if we clicked to the snowman, we could have put it on. We could have made this jump, put it on, and then skidded across. But unfortunately, we haven't done that. Oh well, it doesn't matter. The last hole. All we need to do. Damn, not quite top power or top top spin. Doesn't matter because we make it across and then we sink. See so if I put if I got the snowman, I could have uh, gone across there. Right. So we've got two tomatoes left. So we need to basically. Get through this hole without uh, running out of tomatoes. That's all we need to do, which we should be able to do here. As long as I can hit, as long as I hit this with this shot, we should be fine. There we go. In fact, we may hit the orange head here. No, not quite. So we'll stop ourselves to make sure. Right. Let me try a little sneaky shot here. I go for this. I can roll back. Is there any point doing this? So should we just make sure? How many tomatoes have we got? Two tomatoes. I want to. I need to make sure I keep this fourth life. There's no point going for anything daft here. Um, right. Okay. Yeah. Tilt will do. Yeah, yeah. Let's go for a bit of a silly shot. Why not? So we roll back. We miss everything because we suck. Okay. That was a daft thing to do. I shouldn't have done that. Thought it might. Thought that may have happened. Okay. That was stupid. That was a bit of a silly thing to do. Well, basically, what I was trying to do there is hit the hit the orange sun man, roll up the side. So roll up the side, roll back, hit the sun man, and then roll towards the other, roll towards the whole right. I've got to make this shot. If I don't make this shot, then we lose a life. Um, but my stupidity, basically. <laughs> I should yeah, I should have just made sure that was that was daft. Cost myself a shot as well. 
Okay, we should make this shot though. Um, so I think if we go just over a quarter power, we should be fine here. There we go. So, cost myself a shot in the end there, being daft. Should have just made absolutely sure, it doesn't matter. We got through and into the Star Rocket and on our way to course number five. So I don't know if that was the halfway point or if course number five the halfway point. Yeah, 27. It should have been 26, that really. Maybe it could have been 25, actually. It cost myself a shot. One of those four should have been a three, I think. But I think 27 is not too bad at this stage. Just over... Uh, over three shots a hole, but yeah, okay. So apparently the best score is 22. Oh, there we go. We collect another uh, collect another medallion, so that's good. At least it didn't cost myself a medallion, because I think if we'd done it in 26, we wouldn't have got a silver. We'd have still only got a bronze. So we'll take that. That was way easier than course three. I know I keep saying it, but it doesn't make it less true. Yeah, see, 20, yeah, see 26 would have been uh, bronze anyway. Yep, yeah, okay, that's fine. That's okay, so that was course number four, all done and dusted, and still no uh, incessant golf puns so far on the uh, on the series, but um, yep, I don't know how much longer I'll uh, be able to put those off, but I will try. Anyway, that was uh, course number four done, so I don't know if we're, um, I think there's ten courses, I know I keep, I, I can't remember, I honestly can't remember, but the more courses the better, I think, because this game is phenomenal. Anyway, if you think this game is phenomenal as well, then uh, feel free to like this video and share this video. You can also leave a comment on the video as well, should you choose to that. If you've got anything relevant to say, or even if you haven't, just leave a comment anyway. Why not? The uh, the platform is there to be used. Uh, while you're here on YouTube, if you want to head over to the channel, The Uncommentator, you'll find the rest of the videos in this playlist when I eventually upload them. You'll also find plenty of other games that I've played through for your viewing pleasure. You can also subscribe to the channel while you're there if you want to do that. Um, all the stuff that you can do in 2021. But join me next time, we're going to be moving on to course number five on Kirby's Dream Course. But until we get to that point, for now from me, it is Sayonara.